doing good. How about yourself? We doing well. I'm doing well myself. But uh, someone in a community, in a neighborhood, told me your name is who? What's your name, by the way? Uh, my name is Jesse Johnson. Jesse Johnson. And I knew your name. But at the <laughs> same time, I just wanted people to know who you was. But here we go. I've been hearing something about the cool kids, cool delivery, cool company, cool workshop. Tell me something about this brand, Jesse. All right, no problem. Well, the cool brand is a uh, subsidiary of the Cool Holding Group. Uh, the Cool Holding Group is our parent organization. Um, from that, we made the Cool Kids as a mentoring organization for uh, our youth in Louisiana. Uh, it grew in 2015 uh, from five kids to almost 200. Uh, we're doing positive things in the community. Uh, CEO Jordan Hubbard and Director Deanna Hubbard has been a great influence and a very impactful uh, pair uh, in the Rayville, Louisiana community. Uh, cool Design Workshop is a graphic designs uh, company. Uh, we specialize in graphic prints, t-shirts, and more so logos. Uh, pretty much all of that. Website development, app development. Uh, we went from there to uh, do consulting as well because we seen that there was a need uh, for consulting with our graphic design customers. Uh, cool Delivery Company is a new black-owned delivery company uh, that was inspired by Cool Kids and Cool Designs Workshop. Uh, we've been doing great things with that. Uh, uh, some contracts, uh, beneficial contracts are coming pretty soon, as well as uh, some good things that we're doing in the community as well. Okay, okay, well, what made you get this started? So, it actually started as an idea. Um, I was in college. Uh, I was actually walking to the Marta station, and, um, man, I, I, I don't like talking about it, but it is what it is. So, when I was walking to the Marta station, um, I seen two adults with a child, a baby, and they were just cursing the child out. They was calling them B's and H's and whatever, and uh, the baby had to be no less than two years old. And um, I remember talking to my mom, and I'm telling my mom, like, man, like, mom, they cursing this little baby out. The baby can't be no two years old. And I was so upset, and she uh, kind of told me, like, hey, like, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? And that idea came up, and it said, what are you going to do about it? And that's where Cool Kids came and evolved. It came to be empowerment. Uh, came to be a mentoring service as well as just education. Uh, we wanted to try to be better and have the kids be better as well as uh, know that somebody loved them. You don't have to get cursed out. You don't have to be whatever. You are loved. Uh, we respect you and we want you to, to excel in life. Mm. And that idea came from Cool Kids and Cool Kids. I inspired all the other ideas and, and that's where we at. The Cool Holding Group. The Cool Brand. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so what's your so okay, so uh besides that, what's your mission? So my mission is just to empower the young adults, youth, uh, to just take up action in the twenty first century, build up twenty first century skills and just be or to live their best life. Okay, 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 okay. So what is your background? So I started off uh I started off in Houston, Texas, uh then I went to Morehouse College. I uh, graduated with a finance degree in 2015. Uh, my first job was a Waffle House. I was a unit manager for six months. I was fast-tracked to tap to be a district manager. However, um, I got a, a offer to be one of my dream jobs or, or to participate in one of my dream jobs as a consultant. I moved to Kansas City. Um, I moved to Kansas City, worked for Cerner. And from Cerner, I became a healthcare revenue consultant. Um, some of my major clients that I deal with was L.A. County in Los Angeles, uh, Trinity Health in Livonia, uh, Baptist Health in Miami, uh, Cook County in Chicago, St. Joe in New York, um, and a couple of others. Man, it seems like you've been very busy. So what made you have ambition to accomplish all that you are accomplished at this moment? You know, the, the crazy part is my mom. My mom pushed me and excelled me. Uh, she told me that I always said since I was a little kid that I was going to be somebody. 
And I always took that to heart. And just growing up and just going through life trials and tribulations, I always wanted to be somebody. And that gave me my motivation to go up and do what I need to do and live out life. Okay, okay. So what's okay, what's your uh what's your what's your background? Because you know, I always hear you speaking on your mother, but how about your father? Yeah, my father is around. My uh my father <laughs> it, it's it's one of those things that my father has been around and he check up on me and stuff like that. Uh however there's nothing like that mother's love. Um and move from there. <laughs> I understand. I understand. I understand. Only reason I was asking about that because now I'm seeing the people that you help, uh, the people that you're trying to help and mentor and motivate. Uh, their dad might not be in their life, so. Since you might have a similar story, similar like the people that you can help, how can you help a um, a young adult that did not have a father figure? Um, I can help. Uh, in saying, man, just you don't have to have. You don't have to have. Well, let's just revert back. Your life is what you make your life. You don't have to have a mother. You don't have to have a father. You don't have to have anybody. Your life is what make your life. My father was not in my life for seven years. He was in Huntsville, Texas. Huntsville, Texas, if everyone knows, that's a prison. That's pretty much uh, a story that is told amongst a lot of black boys and a lot of black girls. 70% of black African Americans are born out of wedlock. A lot of kids, a lot of children, a lot of black boys, a lot of black women don't have a relationship or a loving relationship, my ad, with their father. And that doesn't mean that you are going to be detrimental. It helps to have a father. It does. But take my life for granted. I lived in a single parent uh, household as well as uh, seen the struggle. I did the water and took the water out the bucket and put it out the window when I was a kid. Uh, seeing wood rats in the house, roaches, had to put a water and put it in the, uh, the toilet to flush it, to have to put the water, hot water and boil it in the, the tub. Those are real life tribulations. I didn't have a father during that time period and my father was in Texas when I was doing that time period as well. So. My father has been in my life, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't, your parents, your parents can hate you, but that doesn't mean that your life is not worth anything. It takes you and motivation to come out or to do whatever you need to do. Okay, okay, I, I, okay, I like that answer. I'm like, we get into the need of greedy here. So it seemed like, you know, you always been motivated to help people because it seemed like you were always trying to help yourself. Yeah. Now, I do have another question. So since you, uh, do you believe that by you having a degree enhance your business or do you feel like you could have created a business without a degree? It definitely enhanced my it definitely enhanced my business and I can definitely say that without a doubt uh, Morales really did teach me the aspects of business uh, from a finance perspective as well as from a professional perspective as well as from a leadership perspective as well as from a community perspective I don't think that if I didn't go there I wouldn't have that those opportunities or that that mold would you say or that business mode or that professional development without having that uh, that degree uh, my experience did uh, alleviate a lot of stuff as well because I had that firsthand knowledge of doing business and uh, what a customer or a client would like to have. Uh, but nine out of ten, it definitely, definitely propelled me uh, from other stuff. I can definitely teach uh, other people on definitely business. Um, what I do notice with different clients that did not go to college is a lot of stuff that they do not know or they don't know how to conduct their sales when it comes down to business and it can kind of put them in a uh, situation where 
it can be less than if you're going to a person that did have it. But if you do have that that professional acumen, that business acumen, a business degree isn't necessary. Okay, okay. So what do you think a person need to build a business if they ain't going to, if they never attended college? So first thing you need to do is have motivation. You need to have a mission. You need to have a understanding of your market, of what are you trying to accomplish? Is your mission dealing with uh, the community? Is your mission dealing with a product? Is your mission dealing with a service? You need to have that mission understood. Uh, One good thing about business is you go to create a business, you are trying to create something that is missing from the market. Because if if it's something that's missing from the market, that means that you're always going to have that business demand. You're always going to have that professional demand. You're always going to have that support and that demand. If you're creating something just to have quick money or fast money, it's going to end up with quick business, quick failure, quick everything. So always have that mission. Always have what you want to accomplish. Always have what you're trying to do. Make it a a situation where it's a a life goal, uh, uh, something that you are love to do, something that you are willing to do. Okay, so... Thank you.